Hello and welcome to a double Illumipray unboxing because this month not only did this very exciting November box arrive but also the Illumicray Editions Cruel Prince box arrived. It's so huge. I it's basically book Christmas. I'm so happy. Anyway, I thought that rather than doing separately unbox things, I would just do it all in one go because my life is hectic right now. And also, if you're gonna watch one, you may as well watch them both. So it just made sense to put them together and have a longer video that will take me less time to edit. Okay, so without any further ado, I'm gonna open them up and see what's inside. And this is when I remember that I need a pair of scissors. <laughs> because I haven't actually opened either of these boxes up yet. So I'm going to start with the November Illumicrate box. There we go. So this was a very special box because it is the In Search of Dolls box which features the book The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern, which we all knew ahead of time because Illumicrate announced it. You know, they they made a thing out of it. Essentially, it's a box that largely themed around um, that book and other door books with doors. <laughs> anyway, 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 it will all make sense as I go through and show you what's inside. So I'm going to pop this list down here. So first, of course, we have some brown paper to protect the contents and also for me to reuse when packing stuff to move. Woohoo! Oh god, I don't even know where to begin. Um, oh wow, this is <laughs> such a good box. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go for the, for the exciting brown paper brown cardboard parcel that's the word scissors handy again <laughs> always be careful using scissors at home kids oh well i've opened it up upside down i think but <laughs> Does it really matter? Okay. So this is this gorgeous a treasury of myths and tales um book themed ceramic pot. Uh, we had a book themed ceramic pot previously, so it's really exciting to have another one of those. I absolutely loved the first one. So yeah, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you there close up. So this was designed by Chatty Nora, at Chatty Nora. It's just absolutely gorgeous. A stunning item. Right, next up, I'm going to go with this beautiful key necklace. This is the archived key necklace. Inspired by the crew keys the characters use to open doors to the archive, this enamel necklace features a quote from the series. Um, there you go. I don't actually know which series this is from, but it's absolutely gorgeous, so I must find out <laughs> what series this is from and read it ASAP so that I can wear it with pride because oh, it's just so beautiful. I'm going to show you that again, but I just can't get over it. There we go. So this absolutely stunning item was designed by Fave One Black at Fave One Black on Instagram. So next up um, is this absolutely stunning pin. This pin, this box, this pin. This box just has so many gorgeous items. It's amazing. Um, so this was designed by Hannah Hitchman at Hannah Hitchman Art. Um, and as it says, it's a Narnia pin. Go a little, little bit closer up so you can really see that. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? Uh, I can't wait to read the, to read this. Wear this. I know words. I know words. Um, trust me. Um, there's also a 
sword. It doesn't say what this is. So I can only assume it's an extra bonus thing <laughs> for the um, book. Which I cannot get it to focus on. There we go, this tiny little golden sword. Which I assume is a, key, is a bookmark. Um... Right, next up is obviously, as I said before, the one thing in these boxes I'm not a fan of. Um, and that's the collectible coin, um, which is by Monoline at Monoline Art. I'm just not into wearing things with faces on. <laughs> Here we go. Um, which features Laszlo Strange, um, a character who I recognise the name of but can't place right at this moment. Next up, ooh, is the Night Circus key ring, which is absolutely gorgeous. So it's like the entry ticket to the Cirque de Rêve. Um, I have just recently re been reading um, the Night Circus, so this is really cool because I actually understand what it's all about. <laughs> Always a bonus, I find. Um, so this was um, designed by Dustin Pages, at Dustin Pages. You ready to enter the night circus at a moment's notice when you're carrying this ticket key ring? If only I could enter the night circus. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, ooh. So, the book is inside this. normal Lumicrate bag that they put all the books in or have for the last few months but then it's also inside <gasps> that's so beautiful this gorgeous Hogwarts book sleeve oh my god isn't this stunning it's purple hello oh, wow. that's so cool because of course it's the entrance to Hogwarts in the first book so yeah insert of doors it makes sense now let's pull the book out and I think I've worked out what the little tiny sword is all about it says it's, it's an official bookmark for the Starless Sea um, yeah it says with three possible designs this bookmark is your clue to the ancient library in our chosen book this month official artwork by Richard Merritt oh I forgot to mention uh, this gorgeous Hogwarts, Hogwarts book sleeve um, features artwork by Pau Hammy. So, onto the book. Isn't this gorgeous? Check us out. And there you go. Here's the sword. There we go. I understand now. <laughs> I understand. Okay. Wow. This is really beautiful. I can't get over it. It's just... <sighs> yeah. It's... Yeah. got a little book plate inside oh, and the end oh can you get over those end papers I cannot I can't even deal with it this is just stunning oh my god <laughs> okay wow um so I'm gonna read the blurb to you which is printed on here because this is actually a naked hardback it's not meant to have a dust jacket um the starly sea by Erin Morgenstern Zachary Ezra Warlings discovers a mysterious book hidden in the stacks. As he turns the pages, he reads something strange, a story from his own childhood. Bewildered by this inexplicable book and desperate to make sense of how his own life came to be recorded, Zachary uncovers a series of clues, a bee, a key, and a sword, 
that lead him to a masquerade party in New York, to a secret club, and through a doorway to an ancient library hidden far below the surface of the earth. Okay, I'm sold. I mean, I've already <laughs> <laughs> but how could you not? Um, what Zachary finds in this curious place is more than just a buried home for books and their guardians. He learns of those who have sacrificed much to protect it, relinquishing their sight and their tongues to preserve this archive, and also those who are intent on its destruction. Gorgeous. <sighs> Amazing. <sighs> So, <laughs> that's the end of the November Illuminate unboxing. Absolutely stunning. I am so, so impressed. I don't even know where to start. Um, but now, I have to put all this stuff away um, and make space to unbox my Cruel Prince box. Oh my god, it really is like Christmas. Everything is just so nice. <laughs> okay, so it's on to box number two. <laughs> I can't even describe how excited I am, especially after the previous box, which is so sunny. Ah. Okay, uh, two lots of stellar safe to cut through on this one. Ah. Okay, alright, I'm opening it, I'm opening it. Oh, it's so big, I can't get over how big it is. <laughs> well, it costs a bomb. Uh, what can I say? So, as you know, this is the Cruel Prince box. There we go. Um, it's official. Uh, it's in collaboration with Holly Black. It's full of stunning items. I'm so excited. Ah, okay. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. <laughs> right, um, let's start with what's on top. <laughs> So this is a character bookmark set. The artwork is by Coralie Juminot at Merwild. Oh. And they're all double-sided. So cool. <coughs> I'm healthy. Can all the characters just be my makeup and hair inspiration for life, please? What? I don't know why I'm saying hair. I literally don't do my hair at all. I just like air dry it and like brush it to make it as big as possible. Uh, <laughs> oh, they're just so nice. They're so beautiful. Oh, so, yeah, so stunning. So nice. Oh my god. <laughs> right, okay. Next thing, next thing, next thing. Uh, Oh wow, this is big, this is big. Oh, 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 I'm gonna need the scissors again. Yeah, I'm gonna need scissors. <gasps> it's a blanket. <gasps> oh my god, it's so soft. <gasps> Artwork by Yoshi Yoshitani at Yoshi Yoshitani. It's so soft. Oh my god. <gasps> I'm just gonna cuddle it forever. Oh! Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Look at this. Oh, oh. Has, is it, has it got the right way up? I can't work it out. <laughs> oh. oh my god. That's so nice. <sighs> I'm just gonna wear it now. I'm gonna wear it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can wear it as a cloak. There we go. It could be my cloak, even though it's really hot with the lights on. Yeah. There we go. I'm just under this blanket. Okay, no. It's, it's too hot. It's too hot with the lights on. What are we saying? What are we saying? What are, I'm just gonna, yeah. <laughs> oh, but it's so soft. I can't even... I can't even tell you how soft it is. Okay. Oh my god. <sighs> Next. Uh... This must be the tote bag. A sinister tableau tote. Artwork by Alice Duke, at Alice underscore Duke. Ah, and it's a zipped tote. It says, keep your valuables secure so the Court of Shadows can't pinch them with the zipped tote. <gasps> Love it. Let's play them back. And then it's gonna zip. <gasps> so, you know, I can actually like use this as like my main bag. 
or that carry a really little bag and it has this alongside it <sighs> that's so cool it's so cool i love it excellent everything is awesome okay oh oh i'm dead at these i know i know what these are i've seen them on the internet and yeah i am just i can't get over how beautiful they are so it's a Jude and Carden bookmark set. Book end. Bookmark? You wouldn't use this as a bookmark. Book end set. Um, designed by Neverand Hell. At Neverand Hell. Um, yeah. So it says, sharpen your blade. How gorgeous is that? Oh my god. I've got to have less books on my shelves so that I can actually really properly display my bookends. So nice. And there's the other one. <coughs> Which says, harden your heart. Oh, it's amazing. They're just so good. Oh, wow. Oh, they're even better in real life than on the internet. Wow, <laughs> this is such a good box, this is such a good box. Okay, next. Oh wow, it's so big. I didn't realise it was so big. So this is um, Every Part of Me Enamel Pin designed by Fable and Black. Um, which features a quote we love from the Queen of Nothing, which obviously I have not read yet. I don't know why I said obviously. It's, it's been out for a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah. I'm waiting for the audio book at the library. Oh, how good is this? So big, so big. It says, every part of me is a delight. That's so beautiful. It's massive. It's got two pin back bits, I guess. I don't know the term. Oh, okay. Right, um, should I do the book first or the dust jackets first? I don't even know. I do not even know. Okay, right. Um, yes, right, book. So this is the Cruel Prince, and the idea is that you'll then be able to buy matching <coughs> uh, the Wicked King and the Queen, and Queen of Nothing editions from the Alu Crate shop online. It's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. And I believe it's signed. Oh, it has a book plate. Yeah, it has a book plate. And, oh, it's so beautiful. I, yeah. Yeah. So I'm actually going to end up with two copies of the Corporates and I won't be able to like, get rid of either of them because this is the special edition and I have the original hardback which I got signed by Holly at an event so it's signed to me so obviously I have to keep that forever um, but yeah because I didn't want to end up with multiple copies I haven't bought The Wicked King or Queen of Nothing because I'm waiting for the Illuminate edition so I just get the ultimate edition in the end. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I listened to the audiobook of um, The Wicked King and I'm going to listen to the audiobook of Queen of Nothing via the library. So yeah, yeah, I keep checking back to see if the person who's reading it before me has finished with it yet and they have not. Uh, I don't know what's taking them so long, but yeah, <laughs> I should get it at, on the last day of the year. Um, if they don't hurry up, I will at least get it on the last day of the year. So, so yeah. Okay, so this these are jackets, which I'm about to open now, um, uh, are for all of the free books. And the artwork is by Rosie Fawns88, at Rosie Fawns88. Um, and she has done the designs of several mugs um, now for the series. So, yeah. Uh, I really like her artwork, so when I saw that she was going to be designing dust jackets, I was like, yes, 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 please. Oh, they're so nice. I don't actually know whether I'll be able to use these as dust jackets or whether I'll have to, like, 
frame them or something but they're so stunning okay so this is the core prints Oh, so good. And then, oh, this is the Wicked King. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Ooh. I'm not trying to bash these up in the slightest, but they obviously roll up <laughs> when I take them around because they were rolled up in the tube. <gasps> How stunning is the cover of the Queen of Nothing? <sighs> wow. Okay, so I don't actually know which of the two boxes I preferred because they all just filled with so many gorgeous items. Oh, wow. Absolutely amazing. I, yeah, I lost for words to properly communicate how gorgeous all of the items in these two boxes were. Wow. So that's the end of my double unboxing. Thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. If you would like to read more books, don't know where to start, check out my free e-course, Ignite Your Passion for Reading, Falling in Love with Books, which is linked in the description. Thank you again. You'll see me again soon. Bye.